Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're taking a look at some minis in our workshop. Uh, we're taking a look at the Traxxas Mini Summit as well as the Traxxas Mini E Revo. And these uh, these trucks, you know, we actually considered for our platform, but uh, the I think. Uh, why we chose a slash over these two was just uh, in terms of durability, you know, because these are four wheel drive, right? Uh, they are a lot uh, funner, so to speak, but uh, there's a lot more stuff that breaks and needs to be maintained because of that extra front differential and drive shafts. And uh, just another thing about these trucks is that, um, you know, they are a blast to drive, but uh, when you start putting down, um, you know, when you when you go with the brushless versions and you have a little bit more power, right, there is uh, more stuff that breaks, you know, including the differentials. You know, there's just a lot more maintenance items. And these these cars can be a little bit top heavy, uh, so they will flip a lot. And uh, that, you know, that is usually not fun running after your truck and trying to flip it back over and whatnot. So uh, we actually had two more of these, two more, uh, two more summits in, and two more mini, or actually one more summit and one more mini E Revo that we've we've actually gone ahead and uh, got rid of because uh, you know we we've, we've decided uh, to not move forward with this as the platform of our choice for our program, um, and you'll see we'll go over some of the pros and cons here. Um, you know this this one's actually partially disassembled. Uh, because we were working on it, this one actually broke its chassis. So this, this uh, because of this plastic chassis, and there's a lot of stuff mounted on here. Uh, it was a you know it was a pretty good sized collision, but the um, the the chassis is actually cracked here, uh, and you know you can you can barely see it here. Some of the bulkheads are broken or whatnot. Um, definitely do your homework if you're considering one of these trucks. Uh, you know, go onto the forums, uh, use Google to search in terms of uh, you know the the uh, the weaknesses of this platform and every platform has its you know every truck has its pros and cons in terms of its strengths and weaknesses uh you know w one thing that's nice about this is the lay down shocks that it carries over from the the full size uh, revo and e revo so you know when you flip and whatnot you you or you know when you crash you you won't do damage to the shocks uh one of the cons though is that uh these these plastic shocks are prone to leak so just a, something to be aware of uh the chassis itself you know besides it being plastic and and you know they're they're pretty durable except we 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 did crack this under a big crash uh the nice thing is that you can actually load two batteries into these uh into these side trays uh now this was a bigger deal when folks were just running nickel metal hydride batteries but with the lipos you're probably only going to run one right uh two would just be totally uncontrollable uh, we have run two nickel metal hydrides and uh, this summit itself is is pretty uncontrollable at this point. Uh, you know, if you put that much uh, that that many batteries in here, just because uh, you know it will flip a lot, it will wheelie. It can be fun for some, but um, not not for us. So, uh, you know, some of the differences between these two platforms too. Uh, you know, one one cool thing about the Traxxas 116 series is that they have a whole bunch of different cars and trucks, right? Yeah, anything from a Mustang, a, a Kyle. Bush uh, racing car, drift car, you know, the Ken Block, um, and you can pretty much, uh, you know, you can pretty much jump between one car to the next, uh, you know, the, the, most of the, most of the pieces are similar. Um, there's also various motor sizes, right? This is like a, a 380 size motor. We actually don't have it mounted here because again, we are working on this car as well, but you can, you can put in a full 540 sized or 550 size motor as well into these uh, into these really small cars, but again, you know, it's they are top heavy, and putting that much power into a car of this size usually amounts to a lot of uh, mayhem and instability. Uh, the drive shafts, uh, you know, like most truck Traxxas cars, uh, will need to be upgraded. The stock plastic ones just don't hold up to much uh, abuse or power. So you'll you'll notice that we have the um, the steel drive shafts on this particular truck, this Mini Revo. Uh, the Summit ones are a little bit more durable, so uh, you know, just looking at the, the the differences between the Summit and the Mini E Revo, uh, the chassis, everything is the same. The the only different parts besides the obvious battery, uh, body and tires and whatnot, and body mounts, 
is that the uh, that the A arms are different, right? So you'll notice that the A arms, the drive shafts, those are different between the two trucks. <clears throat> There, there, there are a couple of videos on YouTube, though, just showing you what parts are needed to convert between the two. Um, so, you know, the, again, the nice thing about this, the, the Traxxas 116th platform is that uh, there's a lot of flexibility, a lot of parts availability. Uh, you know, you can switch from one truck over to another and whatnot. And, uh, you know, just in general, Traxxas parts availability is, uh, you know, second to none, right? Your local hobby store uh, will carry a lot of these in stock. So, uh, you know, the, the other thing about the Summit is that it, it's got these light canisters. Uh, they're, they're not, uh, they don't come from the factory with LEDs, but that's, that's kind of a fun feature is that you can have a fully lit up Mini e Revo, uh, sorry, Mini Summit. Uh, we, we, have, there's actually a light kit for the Mini e Revo as well. So if you can, uh, if you want to do, do night running and whatnot. Uh, another just quick review point is that uh, you'll notice that none of these cars have servos. Um, because we, we broke a lot of these servos as well. And, you know, they're, they're smaller mini size servos. You can replace them with a high tech or whatnot or run dual servos in there. Uh, but, um, you know, we, we, we didn't get around to that. So, um, yeah, just, just a, a quick overview of these, these platforms. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, just let us know what you think of this episode. And uh, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next time.